Hey, hey, hey. Fuck. Because I changed my password. all right how you doing how is it going what's going on everyone welcome to the legion tv All right, so what's going on, everyone? We Kevin here with the Prospecting Masterclass. Blessed that all of you could be here today. Uh, we are going live here. We go live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And uh, we're here this week. I'm going to be going live with you Monday, Wednesday, Friday, going deep into lead generation. And to here to help you generate leads and how to, how to turn a lead into a client, how to turn a lead into a recruit. So just want to let you all know, glad that we could just come here today and generate leads for you. So if you are tuning into the prospecting masterclass on, um, on Monday or on Saturday, I think, I think the class was on Saturday. So what we did there is we dived in into the lead generation process, especially booking meetings using, you know, uh, you know, what do we do? And we talked about the problem about, okay, you know, some people have, think they have a leads issue. Some people think, Hey, I have a lead. I have a lead generation issue. You know, I have a, I have an issue generating leads, but look, I want to share this with you, my friends. And if you're watching me here, um, the problem is not leads. Your problem is not a lead gen problem, actually. It's not getting more leads. It's practicing how to follow up with the leads that you have now. So I've shared with you in the past that we got to generate leads, uh, approximately for, um, you know, we must generate leads at least 80% um, prospecting 20% of the time. So the problem is, look, look, when we're prospecting, an interesting thing is we're busy prospecting. So we got a prospect, great. Um, So we have a prospect. Great. You know, we have someone that is interested in buying our product. We're calling them, we're messaging them, but let's say we have an appointment with them. You know, we're talking to them. We show them the offer. Maybe they got to talk to a decision maker. Maybe they got to get a decision maker back on the line. So what that means is the fact that, okay, now this person, now we got to follow up. So if we're mainly just focusing on lead gen, we're totally forgetting about the deals in the past, the deals that we have in the background. So I don't want you all to forget the deals that you've had in the past. I want you to still focus on the very important things about generating leads for 
and and even following up on leads in the past. You know, following up on old, old friends on the past, following up with people in the past, following up with, you know, old deals. Maybe let's say you're let's say you have a bunch of contracts that you're ready to send out and you totally forgot to to follow up with them. You totally forget to to contact them. You totally forget to reach out to them. Now great, we we're prospecting a bunch of people. But now we're missing out on a bunch of people that we could work with. Right? So, first thing, I want you to make sure that you're making a decision to follow up. Let's make a decision. Let's make a clear decision to make time for follow up. Make clear decision. Go make time for follow-up, guys. Go make time for that follow-up. At least do it. So I know this episode today, um, it is, what do I say when I follow up with leads? What do I say? What do I do? You know, what do I talk about when I follow up with leads? You know, it, it all depends on the context. Let's say you're following up on someone that needs leads for... Um, for their lead gen business. Right? You're following up with leads that um, maybe you sent a contract to them. Maybe you got to tell them about something about their campaign. Maybe you want to follow up on the payment. Maybe you want to follow up on how, on how they get proposals. So I, I shared with you the other day about okay lead gen and i shared with you the follow-up strategies that you could use and i shared with you a guide it's it's called 365 days of follow-up and included is our days where um it's like a one-year plan from day one day two day three how to follow up with these prospects how to not follow up how to message them you know what do i say how to be creative when we do follow up. You know? So what's really key is um Let's generate leads. Let's book meetings and let's follow up with our prospects. So let's follow that guide that I showed you. And if you're still not aware, I want to walk you through it. Okay, I'm going to walk you through this guide here. So I'm going to pull it up. I'm sorry, I'm a little jumbled today. My head is all over. I got a bunch of deals going on. I'm trying to like follow up with prospects. I'm trying to work deals out. So, all right, so I'm going to pull it up right here. Chrome. All right, so, you know, big credit to GC, Grant Cardone. He made this, and uh, this is what I want to share with you. So this is the 365 days of follow-up, guys. Let me just make this bigger. So credits to my man. How do you use this? This is a a follow-up process. You know, successful businesses have processes. So I want you to use this tool to help you follow up with deals. And this will help you contact new prospects. So day one. Step-by-step plan. You could skip steps, but for the beginning, I suggest that you just work from it from the beginning. You know, day zero. The same day text. Send a thank you text one hour after you made contact. Hey, thank you for your time, name and number. Same day call, one hour after sending text, 
call and say, hey, again, I want to thank you. It was really special talking with you. Day one, hey, I got an idea. I have an idea that could benefit you. Maybe we can meet up tomorrow or the day after. Which works best for you? Handwritten text letter offer. Hey, I'm sending you a handwritten letter. I want to confirm your address. If they respond with your address, write the letter and send it. So for that, you might need a little bit of mail, an envelope, some stamps. Always important to at least have something like that, you know, ready for you. Offer valuable information during the call. Have your back to the wall when you're sending a selfie video. Send a selfie video via text or email. You know, offer valuable info. 30 seconds or less, you know, include your, your cell number in there. You know, I used to make a, a bunch of videos, by the way. I want to go see if I can find it. Um, I made these old videos that this is a great example of follow-up, by the way. Um, all right, let me do, let's, let's look on YouTube. I think they're here on this YouTube channel. This is awesome. I'm looking at my old photos, guys. So, hey guys, it's Kevin here. Hey, I just wanted to check in with you guys. I'm here at Royal Auto Sales with my good friend Eli. Hey, and uh, I just wanted to introduce you to him. Um, he's working here as a car salesman. And yeah, he wants to show, to show you something, something cool. Uh, good afternoon. Good morning. Uh, this my name is Eli from Royal Auto Sales. Uh, we have our special car today. It's a LSV8 six-speed Corvette, year 2005. Uh, we're asking $25,000 for it. Uh, all, all prices are negotiable. Come make an offer. Well, hey, if you want to reach Eli, you can call him. Is that all right? Call him. Yeah, yeah. 587-223-5296. We have lots to offer. Come on in and uh, find out more about what Royal Auto has to offer. Cool. Hey, I'll put his number down here in the, in the bottom. So call Eli at Royal Auto. Good man. Uh, just like that, man. I can tell my voice was weak in the past. I had a weak voice. I sounded maybe I was like a woman or something, but I sounded homosexual. <laughs> but yeah, that's an example of a video that I would made. I would actually put my number there. I'd put the brand there. You know, for years I've been doing hardcore promo like that, guys. So this is that. That's the kind of level of commitment. If you guys want an app where you can put your number down below text below, info up, up there, you can easily, um, you know, you can easily show that. And by using an app called InShot, you know, you could actually make that. So go ahead and check out InShot. You can find it on, uh, you can find it on the Apple store. Most phones can carry it free to use and no need to pay. Great place for you to edit your videos. So really great place for you to like just level up your, your business there. So um, that's a great way to follow up. Let's go back over to our follow-up screen and see what else kind of stuff that we got to go. If you're asking about, you know, if you're asking about what do I say, you know, you're asking, hey, what the heck do I say, dude? You know, what do I say to a prospect? You know, what do I say to him? Do I say this? Do I say that? Do I, am I pushy? Am I, do I follow up? Am I rude? If you have questions about that, think about value. The prospect wants to hire you because you are an expert. So we got to embody being an expert. We got to be a, we gotta we gotta stay grounded as an expert in your body, guys. 
So let's let's start focusing on how to be that expert and how you could do that is by giving value, giving follow up that is not spammy. You know, it always has to be a combination of closing the deal. But if all you're doing is try to beg, hey, where's the payment? Where's this? Where's that? It can sound just like it can scare them off. However, let's remember and let's be valuable to them. Let's make sure that we're sending value and shows and even displays that you are an expert. So we, our goal is to encourage trust and to strengthen trust for them and for them to trust you. For them to have to find value in you, for them to be, you know, really encouraged for them to hire you. So let follow up be a chance for you to show that you are an expert to book meetings, to sell, to close for them. You know, let do that. And if you want information on all this, go ahead and send me a message, a direct one, wherever you are. And I'll be happy to send this over to you. All right. So bottom line from today's training today, go be valuable. Be valuable online. You could do this by generating leads, you know, and by you being valuable, you could follow up on your prospects and show how great you are to them. So if you have any questions, glad that to be of service to you. This is Kevin with Leads on Demand, and I'm going to pray right now. Lord Jesus, I thank you. Bless everyone here, Lord, that is watching this, and I rebuke any evil that is on this internet. But I thank you and let holiness reign, Lord, and let us walk in you. And I come against that devil who has no power. We thank you in Jesus' name. Have a good day, everyone. God bless you. Take care.